Good morning, everyone. We are starting a new chapter. In the beginning of this chapter, what you'll notice is it's basically review. So I'm not gonna go through this. What I would like for you to do is to go ahead and write next to each degree me measure, the equivalent radian, and try to rememorize those if you've forgotten them. The two problems down here, I'd like for you to draw them out and then evaluate what is the sine of three pi over four? What is the tangent of 25 pi over six? Okay, so you're gonna do those on your own. What I'm going to teach you about is how to calculate the length of the arc on a circle using trig. So first of all, let's talk about what this looks like. You can give yourselves a circle. That's a pretty awful circle. Um, if we're looking for the length of an arc, we're looking for maybe just a portion of the circle, say from here to here, okay? very simple formula. The formula is S equals the radius times theta. Now, the only thing you have to remember is that theta has to be measured in radians. So if I give you an angle measured in degrees, you have to be able to convert that to radians. Okay, but pretty, pretty simple formula if you ask me. So let's go ahead and let's do a couple of problems together. So the first one, we are, notice we're trying to find the length of the arc with a radius r intercepted by the central angle theta. Okay, and maybe I should clarify something here. If you look at this arc, this right here, if you remember, is the central angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle. That angle measure and that arc measure are actually the same when we uh, measure in degrees. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. We have a radius of 10. We have an angle that's 45 degrees. So the way I would do it is arc length equals, it's r times theta, we'll put that there. So it's gonna be 10 times 45 degrees. But to change a, an angle from degrees to radians, we multiply by pi over 180. Okay, and it's important that you kind of think about it that way because the degrees cancel each other out. And that's kind of a little hint into what we're going to be doing in the next couple of sections, something called dimensional, dimensional analysis. So when we multiply all of this out, clean it all up, you get 5 pi over 2. And a lot of times what we do is we approximate these. So that would be approximately 7.9 units. Okay. Oh, this was inches actually. So 7.9 inches. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the next one. So the next one says we have a radius of five and our angle is 90 degrees. So S equals R times theta. And now we're going to drop our numbers in. So we have five times 90 degrees. And to convert that to radians, we do 180 down here and pi just above it. We do that 180 down there because degrees and degrees cancel out. When you clean all that up, it actually winds up being 5 pi over 2 feet, okay, which is the same thing that we got here, different, different start to the problem, but the same exact answers, okay? And this last one, um, we're actually giving you the angle in radians, so it's going to be a little bit easier because you don't have to do the conversion. So we have 6 times 2 pi over 3. That is radians. Okay, so we don't have to do the conversion. Um, I would go ahead and do this simplifying ahead of time. So we get a final answer of 4 pi yards, which if you do 4 times 3.14, you get about 12.6 yards. So I think that's a pretty simple formula, pretty simple to remember, okay, and pretty simple to use. The one thing I will caution you is, caution you about is sometimes we actually give you the diameter instead of the radians, uh, the, the radius. So just be careful, you just have to divide that by two. Okay? Alrighty. So the next thing we can do is we can find the area of a sector. Now, a sector is part of a circle, 
and it's bounded by two radii and an arc. So if you can think about like a slice of pizza, that's really what we're thinking about when we talk about sector. So here's the arc, here's one radius, and here's the other radius. So it's going right to the center of the circle. And right in here, that is the sector that we're going to try to find the area for. Okay, very simple formula. Again, now you had done this probably in geometry and you used degrees over 360 times pi r squared. That was the formula you might have used. Well, here, because we're using trig, because we're using radians, we're going to have one half times r squared times theta. And like I just said, this theta has to be in radians. Okay, so that's going to make that, you know, just like the previous problem, if I give it to you in degrees, you have to convert it to radians. So let's go ahead and do this. And go ahead and read that problem. I'm just going to write the formula. And what I'd actually like you to do is stop the video and just see if you can do it, because I don't think you even need me to teach you this. I think you can do it. So pause this video and go ahead and do it. Okay, so here's my answer worked out. I want you to notice a couple things. Um, we didn't have to do the conversion because I gave it to you in radians. And also notice our answer is centimeters squared. It's because we're trying to find the area of something, right? How big is that slice of pizza that we have, that sector? So I'm gonna give you another problem. And I'm just gonna give you the specifics here that the radius is going to be, or actually I'm going to give you the diameter is going to be 12 centimeters and the angle the central angle will be 135 degrees so go ahead and calculate the area of the sector in this circle pause the video okay maybe you want to sketch a diagram too but go ahead and do that So I didn't quite finish my problem yet, but I just wanted to show you. Um, I worked with this together. I did six squared, which is 36 times one half, which is 18. And then I reduced the 135 and the 180, which gives us three pi over four. So again, now we can kind of see, we can reduce by two and by two here. So as an exact area, we would get 27 pi over two. Uh, centimeters squared. And to approximate this, we're just going to multiply it by 3.14. So 27 times 3.14 divided by 2, which gives us about 42.39 centimeters squared. So I think these problems are pretty simple. Okay, you just have to follow the formula and be careful. Again, radius, diameter, or um, if the angle is given in degrees or radians. Have a great day, everybody.